Hey guys, myself Rakesh and today we are going to learn how to run a Python program using IDLE. So this can be also pronounced as I-D-L-E or you can call it IDLE. This stands for Integrated Development and Learning Environment. I mean this is a place where you can develop a script, develop a code and also or develop a program and also you can dev learn in that environment. So let's see where this idle you will be able to find. On your start search just type python. The moment you type python you should be able to find there is something called idle. There will be cases where you may not see idle. This could be because you might be using an older version of python where idle was not part of the setup. Or it is highly possible that you have unchecked the idle during the installation. In case you wanted to see the idle application, all you have to do, go to my channel by clicking on the icon, clicking on the logo and then come to the video section of my page and type python. Here you would find a complete setup video how to install latest python 3.10.4 on windows 10 and here I have informed how to enable the idle if you are going for a custom setup. So you can watch this entire video. Now let's focus on idle. So as I said this IDLE or idle stands for integrated development and learning environment that means I can develop and learn. So let's see how this idle can be used or this idle shell can be used. Let's start with a very simple command. I am going to type print and within the parenthesis I am going to give two double quotes and within the double quote I am going to write hello world and then if you hit on enter by going to the end of the code you can see the output has been printed here. Now let's say I want to type another let's say I want to type my channel name or you would like to type your own name so you can do that I'm going to type my channel name automate with Rakesh. I'll go to the end hit on enter. Now you can see automate with Rakesh has been printed out. Let's say I would like to do some kind of a calculation where I'm going to provide a value to the value a is equal to 10 and hit on enter that got executed. Now I'm going to say b is equals to 20 and hit on enter and then c is equals to a plus b. Now I wanted to hit on enter. Here I would like to see the output print and in the bracket I don't have to give a double quote because this is a variable and I can simply print. So you can see the output has come. And remember this three arrows that you see there's a symbol for the python that that means the python shell is active to take your codes right that you have written in the python codes it can execute now i am also going to tell you let's say i'm going to write p in capital and here i'm going to say i want to print my name let's say rakesh and i'm going to hit on enter so what is happening the moment you hit on enter it is giving you a error what is the error? Name print is not defined. Did you mean print in lowercase? So please be careful while you are using the specific codes. Now what is happening for every specific code I have to type and hit on enter to see the output. You will have a question Rakesh what if I want to type everything in a given file and I would like to execute. Yes that is possible. All you need to do click on file. Click on new file and keep this window beside this window okay and the very first thing once you open a new file the very first thing you must do is you have to save it so let's hit on save us and give it a name and I'm going to store it in a very specific folder where I would like to store all my python code so in the documents I have created a folder called my python codes I'll go inside that and here I'm going to create a file called test2 dot py stands for python okay so the file is created and you can see the new file has got a name and it knows where it is in the c drive let's write a few codes here so i'll be saying print 
and I'm going to within the double parenthesis I'm going to give double quote and I'm going to write automate with Rakesh and then let's say I want to make a calculation I will say a equals to 10 so I'm writing hitting on enter so I'm writing multi line code and still I have not executed okay first I want to write everything then C is equals to a plus B right and now I would like to print C so what is happening by hitting on enter it won't print anything you can see it is not printing so what I should do the very first thing you should do is you should file and save it this is the rule you have to save the file once you save the file then you should click on run on the idle window this is the idle application now on the idles here, here you have to hit on run and hit on run module or you can also use F5 the moment we do that now you can see on the idle shell the primary page it is showing me the output automate with Rakesh now let's say I don't want to do a control let's say I want to make another uh, I want to write another formula C is equals to B minus A so the output should be 10 and I would like to print C I want to make some modification to the code so I have done few modification to the code now if you directly go and hit on run what would happen as I said as a rule it will ask you to save it source must be saved ok to save ok first you should save it and once it's saved it will run and it is giving you the output automatic with track is 30 and 10 getting it so you got an understanding how to use the idle shell or the integrated development learning environment shell and how do you create a new file and the same thing can also be saved in a notepad for example let me type the same code I don't want to use the idle shell let me close it and I'm going to save this in a notepad okay let me close this now this is a notepad the notepad file I'm going to save as and I'll go to the same location where I have my folder to store my codes and here I'm going to give it a name called test.3 dot p y and it's going to save it so what happened this file bec has become a python file now let's go to the location my python codes and here the test 3 has become a python file now how do i run this python file from idle very simple open the idle idle application and in the idle application i'll click on file and i'm going to say open okay file open and I will go to the specific file test 3 which is created using notepad click on open and you can see it has opened right so once it is open I would like to run this very simple hit on run run module and it's going to show me the output getting it so I showed you all the different ways that you can use your idle shell so thank you guys for watching we are going to come up with more such interesting contents for you thank you take care